Is there a difference between implicit bias, unconscious bias, and systematic bias? How interchangeable are they? What's your what's your take on that? Yeah. So these, I mean, the three of those, it's such a fascinating question because the three of those, we often um, use them interchangeably, Yeah, but they're actually very, very different. And it's so funny when you mention, um, you know, even subtle differences like Duke versus UNC, right? What I talk about in a lot of my research and what I study is how these really subtle differences that so much of success and outcomes are determined by these subtle signals and cues and stereotypes and perceptions, even something like, I mean, it sounds funny, but the the color blue and seeing the difference between Duke blue versus Carolina blue, right? Immediately, there's some sort of a reaction (laughs) that happens. But if we take that into the business world, for example, you know, Marissa Mayer was famously, when she first started Google, spent a long period of time because she had this hypothesis that people would click through ads at a certain rate for a certain shade of blue. So she spent, you know, a week or two just testing blue number 12 versus blue number 15, blue number 15 versus blue number 20, and found that there was one shade of blue that people were more likely to click through, like, I don't know, it was two or three percent more likely to click through than others. And it may not sound like a huge percentage, but when you're selling ads for millions and billions of dollars, that 2% can really make a difference. So even something like that, these subtle signals and cues. But back to your original question, the ways in which these, these signals and cues are enacted means the difference between unconscious and implicit and systemic sort of bias. So if you think about bias from this holistic sort of this holistic continuum, there's bias that's sort of overt, right? We know that you discriminate or you're biased against someone based on how they look, right? Right. But there's also bias that, for example, I give this example of imagine you're playing this board game, a board game, and, you know, you have no idea that, that, that every time you roll the dice, you're rolling a fair set of dice. And your opponent, every time they're rolling the dice, they're rolling an unfair pair of dice where they, for some reason, are always going to roll lower numbers. And you're playing this game, and the whole time you're playing this game, you're winning. And you never sort of see that the dice that you're rolling are are a different set of dice than, than your opponent. And so when you go at the end of the game and you win, you're not really aware that there was systemic sort of bias, that that you you that your success was due to something that was just in the system right so that's one form of bias another form of bias is that perhaps you unknowingly um, one set of dice are red and one set of dice are blue and the blue set of dice are the ones that are always going to be the ones that roll the lower number and so implicitly you're sort of you were told or you were taught like The red dice are always better. Just try and get those. But you have no idea why. And so every time it's your opponent's turn, you hand them the blue set of dice, right? So you're implicitly biasing against them because you somehow think that the red dice are better. And and that you uh, and and so and so there's sort of this unfairness built in. Uh, through what you've been taught or through what you've sort of known. Um, And so there's sort of this implicit and also like subconscious to some extent, but subconscious is much more, you have no idea why you weren't taught that red was better than blue. But for some reason, you realize that red was always going to roll better than blue. And so it's not that someone told you to always give blue to the opponent, but you just naturally always give the blue to the opponent and make sure that you get the red. So there's all these different forms of bias that exist. And so sometimes I give that example to kind of illustrate the really small differences that exist between these types of biases. 